Hello everyone, welcome to Play Canvas Office Hours, where we work through problems posted by the community. I'm Stephen Yao, always known as Yasun on Forums, and today we're looking at a thread where uh, a user is having problems with switching scenes. So um, what they say here is that when they load their ninth scene, um, it works. When the, sorry, when they load the ninth scene, okay, when they load the ninth scene after coming from the previous level, level eight, um, there's a problem with the particles, namely that it won't play. Um, and uh, if they load the scene directly, of, of if they load level nine scene directly, then the script works fine, uh, or there's no errors. So uh, this is one of the like classic uh, scene changing problems where there's a little bit more context or a little couple more things that you need to be aware of when you're switching between scenes. Okay, um, so we're gonna do a usual process where we will try to reproduce the error. Uh, let's play this. So this is, uh, what is it? This is like level eight, I think. Level eight, yep. So we can shoot. There we go, we can shoot. We can shoot very slowly. <laughs> but we've got particle effects. You can see particle effects on the end of the gun. And if we, how do we load level eight? How do you load level eight? Do you? All right, there's a door here. Okay, there you go. So here's level eight. And now we fire, we get this uh, error here in the console. So let's click on that. Let's start from here and see what the issue is. So saying that, let me go back to this. Um, cannot read properties of undefined regard uh, read and play. So it's reading the play function and it's saying that the particle system is undefined or null. Okay, um, so what we're going to do here is let's open the developer console in Chrome. Uh, Devo tools and oh, got lots of spam coming out. Uh, let's see if we go back to error. Here we go. So let's click on this uh, because that gives us that allows us to ooh, that allows us to debug here. So uh, I've what I've done here, which is left over, is I had it pause on exceptions, uh, which means that when I clicked on the viewport here, it uh, breakpointed where the uh, where the error was. So we can see here. Uh, this particles particle system play uh, particle system is null. Therefore, when it tries to uh, call play, it uh, it throws an exception. So let's play that through. But the yeah, interestingly, the particle does uh, the ball does come out, and that's because the first bit of code this part this part of code executes, which is fine. It just stops here effectively. Okay, so interesting. Uh, they say that the level loads fine if you start from level nine. Sorry, the uh, there were no errors when you load C9 uh, level nine directly. So let's reproduce that. Let's go to C9. Let's confirm what they're saying is true. There we go. And we can see here, we can add some bunch of them trying to click on this. We, uh, you can see the particle effects on the end of the gun are firing and we're firing balls. So that's good. Uh, what we're going to do here is do a usual process where we fork the project and take a closer look at this as well. So we call this uh, F8 Escape. Well, that. I'll close down all the other tabs. We don't need them. How big is the project? Uh, 800 big. Let's take a little while. All right, there you go. So let's go to the script in question, which was shoot.js, if I remember correctly. And the error was here. Um, so you can see where this function is getting called from. So we go on mouse down, find it. It gets called on app dot mouse update. Okay. So this is one of those classic. Uh, one of those like classic issue with scenes is that you have to be careful about how you handle event listeners. Um, so in this particular case, we're subscribing to the mouse down event uh, on the mouse object in the app object and um, we have to remember that the app object is the lifetime of that object is across the entire app It's not tied to the lifetime of the scene so therefore when we destroy the entity that the script is attached to so the shoot script is attached to uh, which is within this uh, within the current scene the mouse object still has a uh has a event list that's been registered to it on mouse down uh, to it that mouse listener doesn't go away because 
uh, we've basically passed the function to the mouse object and it's kept a reference to a function itself. So what's happening is when it loads the next scene, there's actually two mouse down events, uh, so two mouse down listeners on the mouse object uh, that are that have been registered and uh, attempted to call both functions, one on the ob one on the entity from the previous scene and one on the entity in the current scene, scene nine. Um, and what we have to do is uh, always when we come into when we listen to uh, events on objects that are outside the lifetime of the shoot script. So that means um, listening to any potentially any entity that is not the same entity as a script attached to, or listen to any objects like the mouse object, uh, the keyboard object, the touch object on the app, or any app events, etc. You have to remember to unsubscribe from the event when the script is destroyed. And we can do this like this: uh, this dot uh, on destroy. So we listen to the destroy event on the script and call the function to unsubscribe. So we go app dot mouse dot on, uh, off even mouse down. This dot on mouse down. Pass in the scope, which is this. And now what's happening, what will happen is when the entity that this script is attached to, uh, what, sorry, what, what that? when this uh, script instance or when the script is destroyed as part of the entity being destroyed as part of the scene being destroyed when you change scenes, it will stop listening to the mouse events. And this will, uh, this function will stop being called in that context. So let's do that now. Sorry, my browser just crashed here. Uh, so let me just refresh that. Okay, so we, uh, now I'm back in scene eight. Let's roll that. Okay, so we can fire our ball. Let's go over to level nine or the trigger for level nine. And now, park of the flying, we don't get any errors in the console and uh we're firing balls perfect so what i want to do is uh let's put a, let's put a checkpoint to ensure that we get those fixed and what i'm going to do is pass this uh pass this video back to the user with along with the link to a fixed project and uh they can uh, move on